the fallout of the Russia Ukraine conflict might prove to be severe for India. The rupee is close to 77 a dollar. Despite the Reserve Bank's attempts to manage this fall, the rupee has been Asia's worst performing currency in 2022. According to One Financial Daily, several brokerages, banks, and treasury departments are fearing the rupee might plunge below 80 a dollar. Meanwhile, the crude oil price has touched $130 a barrel. Now, it is feared to go past $150 within a few weeks, or even $200, depending on how the conflict in Europe progresses. According to a report by Kotak Institutional Equities, a likely drop in crude oil exports from Russia could keep oil prices elevated for a protracted period. At an average crude oil price of $120 a barrel, the report estimates an additional burden of $70 billion on the Indian economy in FY23, above the FY22 level. This additional burden would be 1.9% of GDP. To soften the impact on consumers, the government might have to further reduce excise duty on diesel and petrol. Assuming a 10 rupee reduction per litre, there could be a decline of $20 billion in excise revenues. According to the report, an impact of $22 billion might be directly borne by Indian households. Companies will face an impact of about $23 billion, the bulk of which might also be transferred to households. The increase in commodity prices will have a direct impact on the economy as India imports 85% of its oil requirements. Based on the supply shock, real economic growth could be lower than predicted. The targeted fiscal deficit as a percentage of GDP might be difficult to manage, even if nothing changes in terms of government expenditure. Weakness in markets may also have an impact on the government's receipts. For instance, there is the risk of Life Insurance Corporation disinvestment public issue getting postponed. Meanwhile, inflation, which is already out of the RBI's comfort zone, could be driven even higher, not just by crude oil prices, but also by edible oils. The central bank and the economy could face the double whammy of stalling growth and high inflation. So, what options do policymakers have for mitigating the economic fallout of the Ukraine war? The degrees of freedom for the policymakers are limited. All they would be able to do is mitigate the risks. They would not be able to eliminate the risk. The foremost that the government can do is to cut uh, the excise duty on um, retail prices. However, what we should be noting is that impact on CPI inflation to that matter is not significant. Policy space in case of state governments is larger. The, the taxes are ad valorem in nature. They are in a, in a much better position to cut down on VAT rates than the central government. RBI on its part, they had experimented very successfully uh, with something called an oil window in 2030. In one move, they took away the oil demand from the day-to-day, the, -day, the, the foreign exchange market. If you take away oil demand, if, uh, the demand for uh, dollars because of oil, you effectively take away nearly 30-35% of your uh, dollar demand from the import side. So it's not that that demand is not being met. That demand is getting met by RBI through uh, maybe one or two important public sector banks. But by and large, for the rest of the economy, since the oil demand is out, USD INR market trades much more, uh, uh, I would say, in a balanced manner. So another thing which both the RBI and the government together can do is try and figure out possible arrangements with Russia and see if the discount that the current regime is offering in terms of uh, some of the commodity uh, shipments, if they can be availed. I guess the impact on uh, the headline impact would be much more. As oil marketing companies move to increase retail prices in the next few days after keeping them unchanged since November 4th, we have to see to what extent the government is willing to forego its excise revenue to control inflation. Similarly, with the rupee at an all-time low against the dollar, the RBI has innovative strategies at hand to contain volatility. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.